Okay, good morning, folks. <clears throat> Yesterday I did a video on how to wire up uh, RJ45 cable, a patch cable. I thought today I'll show you how to wire up a socket. Okay, show you this. That's where you. This is only for beginners. So, here you go. And the difference as well between this is a patris that goes inside a piece of conduit that runs along the back of like a row of PCs. You've probably seen that in schools and whatnot. These are quite good. They fit into place. And then, of course, you've got to make a hole and then usually one the other side of you going on and on and on. And then this is a wall mount patris where if you look just down there, you can see the, the gap. And what you do is cut a piece out in the middle or whatever. A piece of conduit will come down the wall. And tally up with this and then that's where your cable runs through comes through here and then this will be your face plate you don't need to put this on even when you put even when you wire this up to that socket there you still don't have to you can just put this through afterwards I'll show you that so we're gonna crack on there this is I'm just gonna show you the difference as well between shielded and non-shielded. We'll be using non-shielded for this, um, but I'm just gonna show you the difference between shielded and non. So, um, I'll show you the toolkit we got as well. Very good. Okay, so this is your shielded. This little piece of thread here you can use to, if you grab hold of it quite tightly and pull it, you can actually tear the sheath to make it a bit longer, okay? that'll come off the plastic will come off and if you can see you got a piece of copper wire as well so that's the difference that's shielded to and I'll show you non shielded which is what we're going to use to wire this up okay so this is your non shielded which you've seen before I'll put a link in the previous video over there Okay, make sure you're in focus. And it's got the same little piece of screen you can use that with as well to do that. There we go. It's just because well, it's a short piece, I've just pulled it out, so it doesn't matter anyway. There you go. And that's it. Your eight, four pairs. Same principle: orange and white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. But when it comes to this, this is pretty easy stuff to this is very easy actually so I'm going to untwist them and we'll get on with it so if you <clears throat> by the magic of TV it gets unraveled like that so if you look at these now what I've done if I, I've actually pulled them into pairs because they're going to correspond with each side of that adapter okay so that's what I'm going to do is just so I'm going to line this up so it's like virtually in the middle like so you can see that. Sorry, I'll try and zoom in for you as well. Bring you back. And then we're going to use a punch down tool. So what you do is you bring them back like so. And you can just put them in place for now. Okay, so orange and white. Orange. Just put it in place. <clears throat> and then green and white. So what you're trying to do is actually... The distance it, it, you don't want any sort of like massive wire sticking out and then curl it all up you want to make them twice as as, twi as neat as you can possibly do them okay so turn it round and then blue and white at the back if you want this is the only way this is the way I do it okay and then brown and white brown okay there we go. So that's what you're aiming for. This is, like I said, this is for beginners. Any professionals out there, if you do it differently, you do it differently. Okay, I don't know. You also get a little tie back, which you'll put underneath. I'll show you that in a second. So next thing you want to do, I haven't showed you me. I'll show you the toolkit we've got. Hold on. So this is the toolkit. Go right a bit. Comes complete with everything. You get a couple of things. I don't, I don't know if you get any boots with it, you think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Uh, and what we're looking for now is the punch down tool, which is this. 
you've probably seen BT engineers and whatnot using these. <clears throat> okay, so when using the punch down tool, you can see that like that. Okay, this end it's got a slight groove in it, and this will push that cable that side down close, and then the other side has got a cutter. So how's this put? I don't know if I can do it with my fingers. Can you see that without it's in focus? Okay. So that cuts. So you've got to make sure that cutter goes on the outside of the box. So let's start off with that like so. Okay. You got that. And then it's quite a hard push down. I don't mean two hands, I'm just showing you for demo purposes, alright? Line it up. Okay, let's get you a bit closer in there. So you can see what's going on. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. Okay. And that's it, then turn it round. And there you have it, nice and tidy. And then what we do with this, <coughs> excuse me, is there's a there's a groove underneath here. If you can see that, see the groove, just here. It's all the way along. So put your tie back through there. Pull it nice and tight. And then same with that, just get a pair of cutters. And there we go. Then that would feed, that cable would then feed through that. Or, as you'll see, well done. You feed through that, like so. And then you'd do it in such a way you could you could the cable would come in either either side whichever you want it to fit properly. Let me come out. And then you can you can put your faceplate on afterwards. And that's really it, really. Pretty straightforward. These are the most I think one of the most easiest and simplest RJ45 connectors um, that you can use. It comes with a little tag which you can write on, which is a good idea, especially if you're going back to a switch, uh, like a 96 port switch. Uh, we've got a couple of those, and they're power over ethernet, which means that it sends power down the same cable, um, especially if we're using, we got Meraki, so we're using Wi-Fi, so instead of having injectors everywhere, we use power over ethernet, so it sends the power down the same cable to power the AP at the end of one of these. So if this was on the wall, You'd plug a cable into that, plug that into the AP, and it would be powered. You wouldn't have to have an injector to power it separately. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just a way of showing you how I just wire up my faceplate adapters. Uh, take care, and we'll catch you in the next vids. All the best. Sorry, I forgot to say, if once you've done that, and this is fitted and wired through, and it comes through the socket, not through the socket, this is your patris, I'll push it through, just Feed it through like normal, like you do. Okay, pretty straightforward. And then... Like so. And you see you've got quite a large lip at the top and a large lip at the bottom. On the faceplate. Okay, so you just... Pop him in. And that's it. So you can have them that side, but the other one that side with the cable, so they're not touching each other. There you go. Okay, thanks again.